Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Today's video is my unboxing of my latest Scentsy haul. And these are just my pre-orders from the Harvest 2020 collection. I believe I have two warmers in here and a few melts. So I thought that I would just do a quick video and share um, what I got here. Um, I believe most of these are still in stock as of the time of recording which is September 21st. So if you're interested in any of these items or checking out what else they have, um, I will put the Sensi website down below. It'll have my um, consultant Lisa's information on it, but if you already have a consultant, you can always change that out. But if you don't, Lisa is a wonderful resource. I'll also put her um, YouTube channel down in the description box below. She's a wealth of information um, when it comes to the world of Sensi. And before I get started, usually this is where I tell you to like and subscribe. Um, I'll still tell you to do that, but I wanted to say thank you because I have hit the 200 mark. I'm now at, I think, 205 subscribers. I am just slowly but surely build, building my channel, and I just wanted to say thank you so much um, for supporting me and um, deciding to stick it out with me on this YouTube journey. All right, so it came in this ugh, big old box, so thank you, Lisa. Um, like I said before, I pre-ordered my stuff, so she was the one that went online I think at like midnight or super early in the morning and did my ordering for me. Um, so I appreciate that because I got sleep, she didn't, but I, you know, that's the great thing about having an awesome consultant is they do the hard work for you. You just pay them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Looks like, how cute. She left me a little note. Ah, oh, just a little thank you card. Ah, oh, this is like the sweetest note so so incredibly sweet i will need to reach out to her and just say thank you all right so it looks like there's just a little bit of goodies here on the top from lisa these are um ooh, ghostly greetings wax sam samples and how cute are these just little melts and it says um spooky black plum <clears throat> excuse me um, spiced berry and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Um, this is a sample and it says I can put it in my dish. How cool. Let's try it out. Let's smell it. I wasn't planning on, uh, sharing this with you, but I didn't know this was going to be in here. So how kind and thoughtful. Oh, this is nice. Okay. So let me look at the scent notes here. I do get plum and spiced berry for sure. I can see the bourbon, but it's very light. So if you don't like that, you know, kind of liquor scent that you might get in some like, you know, whiskey scents, you know, things that say they have whiskey or rum or things like that. I don't think you're going to be bothered by this. If you like winterberry apple tea, I feel like you're really going to like this. So thank you, Lisa, for the samples. Okay. So inside was also the monthly specials. Also tells you what the monthly warmers and scent of the month has been um, for this year. Look how cute that mummy warmer is. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh my goodness, look at this little spatula. And it has Lisa's information right here. I won't put her phone number out there, but... Oh my gosh, if this is not the cutest darn thing I have ever seen. I love this. So cute. All right. Should we go through the warmers first? I think we are because I have been dying to open these. So I got two warmers. One I chose and then one I let my oldest daughter pick out because I was having a hard time deciding between this. And this one I am going to put in my uh, kitchen area. I currently have a mini warmer down there and I decided I wanted a standard warmer instead because why not? So, all right, let's pull this out. Oh, look how cute this is. So it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. It looks like a big old coffee mug and it has a um, orange dish here. Plug it in and it has the little, um, you know, What are these things called? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. This kind of turn on thing, the switch. What is it called? The one that you just, you know, pull down or whatever. 
whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing is this that I just spent that much time trying to figure that out? Okay, it doesn't say what the wattage is on it, but I will put that in the description box down below once I find out. Um, but it looks like it takes, um, it can take up to four cubes. I don't put more than two in, um, but I thought that this was so cute for fall. It goes great with my decor down in the kitchen. Um, I'm really excited to add this to my little fall decor. All right, next is what I'm really, really, really excited for. And if you don't, if you want a little clue. Eee! All right, so here's the box. It says every day is Halloween. And what a wonderful nightmare. How cute. All right, this looks like I might have to assemble it. So here is the top on top. Then it gives me this super cute orange dish. Oh my gosh, I got to take off the plastic here. Look at how cute this is. The Pumpkin King. Woo! If this is a 25 watt warmer, once you see it, I'm trying to get, it comes with a little warming bulb here. Okay guys, I just put it all together. I haven't plugged it in yet, but I just put the bulb in and it has this um, orange dish that I just showed you guys. I put this on top and it is a full size warmer. Look at Jack, the pumpkin king. Oh, this is so cool. It looks like it can also take four um, bars and this is a 25 watt. It is 25 watts for this one. But look how cute this look is. I'm gonna get up close. Look at the detail, even on the sides. I don't know if you can see it, but they have like little cracks in here. There's zero in the back, which will light up because um, when the bulb is lit up, oh my gosh, this is heaven right here. I am loving this. I cannot wait. I'm actually, I already have wax going right now, but I might have to um, say goodbye to it. <laughs> and plug this in because this is so cute and I don't think I can go out any longer without doing this. So um, this is called um, Jack Skellington Pumpkin King Scentsy Warmer and I know they have a mini warmer too so if you're interested in the mini warmer that is also available but I'm just loving this. This is so cute. This is like probably my favorite warmer I've ever had and I have a Christmas one that is pretty awesome so um, great job Scentsy. You're killing it. Okay, and here's my wax. So they usually will put it in this um, kind of packaging, usually when it's still warm outside. So I got a three pack of the Harvest Collection um, wax. Not that I needed any more wax, but don't judge me. So here are the three. I don't know if you can see, I have pumpkin chai. I have Bright Cider Life, which I've heard great things about, and Pumpkin Tiramisu. So let's give them a quick sniff. I'm going to start with Pumpkin Tiramisu. Mm. Thank. I have a gloss on. Oh, thanks. I'm going to start with Pumpkin Tiramisu here. I don't know if you can, it feels like it's not focusing, but I don't know if it's because I don't have my glasses on. Okay. I get a little bit of bakery that a tiramisu would have, like the cakey part. I get some rum, because it's rum that they put it in, right? And I do get a lot of pumpkin from this. This is gonna be nice. This is a little spicy too, not overly spicy, but it's nice. Pumpkin tiramisu. Um, I feel like I've smelled this in quite a few different like brand, like they don't call it pumpkin tiramisu, but they call it like, you know, like a pumpkin bread or something like that. So it's definitely a spicy pumpkin, but I do get a slight um, tiramisu, like that liquor, that liquored soaked um, cake type of back note to it. So that's pumpkin tiramisu. All right, next is pumpkin chai, pumpkin chai. Okay, this one is even more spicy in my opinion, but I actually really like it. It has almost, it has a cinnamon, but it's a mix between a red hot cinnamon and a gourmand cinnamon. I'm not really getting 
I guess the chai is coming from all the spices that are in here. I feel like there might be a little bit of clove in here. It's definitely nice and warm. I feel like you could use this all winter long, all fall and winter. Um, I do get pumpkin too. The pumpkin is actually very prominent. So they are definitely um, not shy with putting in the pumpkin in these scents. So that is um, pumpkin chai. Okay, finally we have a Bright Cider Life. Bright Cider Life. Let's see if this is overhyped or if it's worth. Ooh. Wow. This is so unique and I love it when I get something unique. I get definitely authentic apple cider that like has been in a slow cooker. Great cinnamon in here, not red hot cinnamon. It is gourmand cinnamon. And I get something that does brighten it up. Is it like a slight lemon? I don't know. I should have um, brought something to check the scent notes, but oh, this is lovely. This is awesome. I'm so excited to try this one. Bright Cider Life. I don't think this one's overhyped. I mean, if it's like this on cold, I can't wait to know what it smells like uh, warmed up. So Bright Cider Life might be my life. So how exciting. Um, Bright Cider Life and um, Pumpkin Chai and Pumpkin Tiramisu are the three pack of the Harvest Collection Wax from Scentsy. All right, everybody, that is my Scentsy Harvest um, 2020 collection haul that I got, and um, I'm really happy with everything that I received. Um, did you decide to buy anything with the Harvest Collection or was nothing interesting you? If you did buy something, let me know in the comments down below what you ended up getting. And um, just, I'll show you my warmers again. Yay! All right, well, I'm gonna go geek out on all this stuff, um, but I wanna thank you for joining me the last few minutes today. And if you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys again next time. Okay, bye-bye.